Hey everyone, today we have a Tristana reroll game. Tristana is a two cost trainer cannoneer. She fires two explosives at the two closest enemies, dealing percent attack damage and a small amount of magic damage. Trainers get an extra unit Namzi. Every round, they feed her snacks that gives Namzi extra HP and AP. Every fifth cannon in your attack fires a cannon that deals percent of the user's attack damage. Trainer reroll was nerfed at the end of PBE, but maybe it's still playable if you get the comp online early enough. I don't like true twos and don't have the units to support combat training. Let's go trade sector. Two Tristanas is interesting. Kench 2 is pretty good for the early game. Free Tristana too. Early two star trainers should stack up Namsi quickly. I should win this handedly. Namzi is going to get so many snacks. They can't kill my Mirage units. Cloak makes Quicksilver. Sichuani is probably better than Jinx. I wonder how bad their options were that they took Rage Wing Crest. Let's sell off my board to make 10 gold. I haven't seen anyone full open this set. Retrainer is definitely better than Jinx. I want a Rage Blade for Tristana. Don't worry about the graphical bug, it goes away after the next fight. Surely I won't lose to a rise. With damage being lower this set, I said she's a great augment. I feel strong enough to not roll down, and just rely on trade sector to find Trist. I 
think I win, unless they get a bunch of spell crits. Corky's better than Jinx for now, but probably won't make a big difference. Don't know what comp they're going for. Maybe they're just banking on getting Alfshan. I would prefer Gargoyles, but Brambo will have to do. Let's hope that we don't fight this at 3. How are they so healthy? Jinx 2 might be better than Forky. Well, there goes my wedge streak. Never mind, he doesn't have any offensive items or augments. Still looking for a Rage Blade. Let's roll Exos Gold and try to find 3 stars. I want Idis solo frontline later, so Quicksilver is fine. Don't let me lose the Rise again. Dealing 8% max health as true damage sounds pretty good. Got Tris 3. Leveling for Corky gets in a third Cannoneer. I beat set 3, so set 2 shouldn't be a problem. Okay, the game just gives me a Jinx 3. The Mage and Mirage players look pretty weak. They're so far from Nami 3. Rod is half a Rage Blade. I just one can't be stronger than my Mirage Frontline. I'll just wait until I 2 star her.
This game sucks if I lose to Zaya 1. I think Sona on 8 will be better than Senna for a 4th Cannoneer. Surely Trist 3 is enough to beat Rise 1. This is a perfect shot. Bow for Rage Blade and a D Claw. Bard is my level 9. Level for Sona to try to preserve my one streak. I would be really sad if I lost to Ezreal too. So I have 4 star Namzi, and she has 2400 HP and deals 341 magic damage. I think they have the front line to support Alfin. Let's see how many stats Namzi gets each turn. She gets 140 HP and 7 AP. They have a huge front line, but still has Zaya 1. Guardian gives me a lot more front line. I got ahead of myself and put the Guardian spat on Lulu instead of Nunu. That's a really tanky Nico. I moved my Corky, but then realized I was putting him in danger of Kane. I should have killed this guy when I had the chance. Let's start pivoting into Idis. The Shimmer Scale item is Gold Mantra Staff, which gives AP for each gold that you have. Let's level for Bard. And get Idish too. I have to shovel my units to dodge Zephyr. Watch Zep punch Idish for 10 seconds.
Flying the Corky here was pointless. There was never going to be enough time to 3-star him. Maybe I just gives me enough time to win this fight. Okay, my last matchup is against set 3. I think we win unless he zephyrs my itis. He gave up. That's GG. I wouldn't force this comp, but it's good to know that it's playable if you hit. I'd appreciate any feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching.